Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies. Uh, as you see, I yeah, got my first track set up. Uh, looks pretty good. We'll be running that later here in the episode. Uh, but first, I want to take a look at uh, one of the slot cars here. It's a Tyco 440 uh, X2. Uh, when I did a dyno video, uh, this one had a higher amperage rating than a lot of the other slot cars I have. It was running about, uh, it was running 0.28 to about 0.3 uh, amps. Um, I'm going to try and take it apart. I can see in there in the com on it, it looks a little dirty. I'm going to try to clean that off, check out the brushes, and I want to see if I can get a better reading on it. Um, I was just running it on the dyno. We're going to throw it on again real quick at a baseline. I'm going to strip this down as best I can, and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so here we go. And the car is running uh, 0.27, 0.26. Uh, when I first turned it on earlier, it was closer to uh, 0.3. So, I'll be breaking in a little bit, but I want to see if I can get it down to about 0.20. Um, I'm wondering to see how good I can clean up the car underneath, so let's uh, take this apart. So even as I'm getting started here, I see what could potentially be a problem. Um, there's very little uh, lash here in the, the axle. This tire is really tight, and the axle is actually sticking out from the center of the tire a little bit. I think it's just pinched a little too hard and if I give it a little break there. See now we got some uh, we got some lash. That might just be it. I'm gonna check the car again right now and we'll see how it does. Wow. That was it. That's running a lot better already. 0 0.24. 0 0.23. Well, that's great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the contacts here with some uh, 320 grit that I have. Yeah, so uh, the, after taking the pin out, I was really able to get the sandpaper in there and the pickups look almost brand new. Um, let's keep going with this. Let's tear it down a little bit further. I want to get in there and clean the commutator. Okay, so let's take off the pickups here. They just pull right off. Yeah. There's our springs. Pull those off. And we can pop off the rear axle. I already cleaned the, any hair out of the axle and the, the rear. Um, there's still something there with, with between the gear there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with the tweezers now and get the hair out of that. And then for the magnets here and the motor, I believe I just pull the body and push them down. That that will just come right out. And there we go. There's our traction magnets. And I remember that the, the blue one is on the left side. And I can pull out our other magnets. There's one. Just like so. There's the other. Just like so. So now I gotta pull out the, the brush tubes here. And so the top assembly just pulls right off. Right, so I was able to go with the screwdriver here and push the lip of the barrel down and it popped. And now that should just come right off. There it is. I'll do the other side now. And then here is the brush for the motor and inside there's a little spring. On the con here we are able to uh, hit this with a white ink eraser. This was to clean that up. So I'm going to do that now. There's uh, some spacers here. You don't want to lose these either. So I'm just going to go around this now and uh, clean up. You can see how much already came off. So that cleaned up really nice. It looks really good. Going with that with the ink eraser. So now for the brush right here, what I saw was 
you take this over to a piece of paper and you just go over it like this. And that will get all of the residue off of it. So I have a little pick tool here. And what I did was I just went in there and just pulled the spring up to examine it. It looked fine. It looks good. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. But uh, you can rub that, clean that off too, and then just push that back down in. And then reinsert the, the brush into the tip. There you go. Now whatever you do, don't go pushing down on it and let go because it will fly out and then you're not going to be in a good mood. So those just pushed right back in. Whatever you do, you don't want to pull the top off now because then you'll have to take these off again because the springs will push the brushes closed and you won't be able to get, get them around the com again. I was able to get everything back together. I used a reference card just to make sure everything was good. And the springs are back in for the shoes. I got the magnet on the correct side. Com looks really clean in there. I uh, got some bearing grease here. And I'm just going to put a dab right here at the top where it spins and meets the plastic. And same thing at the back. That's it. Now we're going to spin that around a little bit. And get the traction magnets put back in and put the carrier gear back on and uh, we'll see how it does on the dyno. Okay, that worked really well. Uh, I recommend you using a, either a paper towel or a cloth when you do this. If anything falls, it falls in one spot. It's not going to go rolling off on you. Um, let's see if this works now. So when I first turned it on here, it started up about uh, 0.27, and we're down to about 0.24, 0.23, right about where we were when I first took it apart. So uh, I'll get, it, I'll let it run here for a little bit, and I'll, we'll see how it, how it comes out. The brushes might be wearing in again. Um, if I didn't put the brushes in exactly right on the com, they got to reseat on the com. So I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit and see how that, see how that goes. So we got it rolling here. I got the body back on it to help with the weight and the balance. Slight improvement, I think. I know there's uh, hop-up parts for these. I might start looking into that, but uh, I feel real comfortable now taking the cars apart. So um, I think it's time to start racing. I'll have to go get Enzo here and uh, get cracking on this new track. <clears throat> I have one more slot car here, and literally the front axle just broke, or the wheel. It literally crumbled. Looked like it got crushed. It was a chrome one, too. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have to get a new rim, but... Uh, I found these. I used to, I started customizing Hot Wheels and I bought all these wheels. I got some pretty cool ones here. And I'm wondering if they can be used on these, especially these red ones. They look really cool. I bought these for an Enzo Ferrari and I have a Ferrari F40 here. And that might look pretty trick. Uh, let's see what we can do. That's going to be something I'm trying to do. And all these gold ones here. These gold ones would look great on a Bandit. Uh, I got an Auto World Bandit coming. So, um, I hate the way the, the, the tires look in the Auto World one. They're gigantic. Uh, they look just like the Knight Rider one here. They're really, really big tires on them. Um, I'm going to drop it down a little bit, but I think that might look good, look good if I can get it to, to go. I mean, it might not perform the best, but it's going to sure is going to look pretty. And uh, some of you might notice the, uh, the Snowman trailer here. I make these. I sell them on eBay. They pop up every now and then. Uh, just keep an eye out. So this just arrived. Looks really good. Love the body on it. Uh, can't stand the wheels. They look brown. Uh, we're going to make them gold. Um, we're not going to go right directly to these, but what we're going to do is try and paint these wheels. So I'm going to get the car out of the box here. I'm going to get the, the wheels masked off, and then uh, we're going to put some paint on it. Let's see how it looks. And here we go. One nice set of gold rims for our Trans Am. So I'm going to put on uh, some uh, Tyco 440 uh, front silicones in the rear of it to see if it makes it look any better. The, the mud slingers they had back there, very large, so it could make it look a little better. It might not perform as good, but I don't care. I want it to look nice. So let's see how that looks now. All right, so we, uh, 
Here we go. I think it looks a lot better. Got the nice gold wheels now, so the brown tan ones. And I also put on some Tyco front tires. Um, they look a lot better. Not as big and fat as the uh, the old mud slingers that, they, that this thing came with, um, as you can see. That was like the old style there. Much bigger of a fat tire. Um, yep. Pretty cool. I like how that looks. Awesome. I got the car breaking in over here. We're at about 9 volts. It's doing about 0.16 to about 0.18 amps. Oh, that's great. Compared to the old Tycos there running about 0 0.22, 0 0.25. Uh, the Auto World one going great. So I'll uh, keep this going for maybe 5-10 uh, minutes and then uh, I'll try it on the track. Alright, we're getting ready to race here. Yeah. We were just trying out some cars first. What did we find out about the tires, Enzo? Were these tires sticky? Yeah. Yeah, these ones are nice and sticky on here. But we tried one of the old Tyco cars I have, and uh, are they pretty slick? They're slippery, right? This yeah. car had problems. It was sliding all over the track. So yeah. before we race, we're going to give you a tire, a tire upgrade Ooh. for your Lamborghini. So you can pick any color tire. You can make the same color tires or different color tires, but they're back at the car. All right, so we're going to pull up the tire, Enzo. Okay. I'll get it started. Go ahead. Take the tire off. Awesome. Do the other side. Good. All right. And now a red tire. It's the shiny side. Yep. The shiny side goes on the inside. I'll start it for you. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's go. All right. The same one was shiny. It is. Yeah. Yep. It got cooler tires. Yeah, it got random tires. All right, so there's your, there's your cool car. Look at that. Yeah. All right, Enzo's gonna try out his new tires. Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. More juice. Oh, look at that! It stuck right through it. That's where it was slipping before. Oh, I think we're good to race. Yeah. All right, I'll get my car and we'll start racing. Okay. So we've done about two races now. Uh, you're winning. I keep crashing. Good job. Yeah. We're ready for the final lap? Yeah. All right, you kick us off. Ready, set, go. Oh. I think it's because you have those sticky tires. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And my tooth is wiggly too. You won. You beat me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Alright, let's get some cool shots of the cars going around the track. Oh yeah! How's the track, Enzo? It's awesome. Yeah, good fun? It's awesome. <laughs> Alright. I think the next thing to do is uh, we're going to get the Ghostbusters car out, Yeah. we're going to get the Knight Rider cars out, and we're going to make the oh. Knight Rider tr truck. Oh my god! Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, if you didn't know, the white one is the bad Knight Rider. That is. His name is Car. So Enz and I hope you liked this video. We had a great time making it. Please come back and check us out again. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Have fun, everyone.